And now to the latest on the VA hospital crisis. Three agency administrators were no-shows today on Capitol Hill. A House panel wanted them to answer questions about possibly deadly waiting times for veterans seeking government health care. Ohio Representative Brad Winstrup says he's unimpressed. For these administrators to not be able to comply with us is unheard of. And a slap in the face to our veterans who comply with the wishes of this nation in a moment's notice each and every day. Today, President Obama promised accountability but made clear he won't fire Veterans Affairs Secretary Eric Shinseki. The controversy has grown since the problem was reported last November in a detailed investigation examining several VA hospitals. 26 facilities are now under investigation. A neurosurgeon who worked at the VA in Albuquerque says she lost her job because she refused to perform surgeries. She wouldn't do the surgeries because the VA did not have basic equipment. Target 7 investigative reporter Nancy Laughlin has our continuing coverage. Well, that neurosurgeon says what is happening with the VA now is bittersweet. She hopes it will bring change, but she claims for her and her career, the damage is done. While Washington insiders are calling for heads to roll at Veterans Affairs, Dr. Kim Chandler says hers already did. I feel like I did the right thing. If I had operated on people unnecessarily, I'd still be there. Chandler says she was a neurosurgeon hired at the Albuquerque VA in 2009. But she said she had some serious concerns and let her bosses know it. Some equipment became unavailable that was necessary, just basic equipment that's necessary for my work. She claims because of that, she wasn't performing the number of surgeries expected. So when it came close to her two year mark, Chandler says she was let go. She tells us she contacted lawmakers with her concerns back then. Chandler says now she's not surprised with the fallout. I wish they had heard us sooner. But there are some veterans who are defending the local VA health system, saying they've received great care. I've been treated fairly. I have. They're good people, good staff, they're good doctors. I don't have a beef with the VA. They've been treating me like gold, like I have a, a Medal of Honor, and I don't. And I get treated like that every time I go to the New Mexico VA. I love it there. All of the people we spoke with today say no matter their personal experience, they want to make sure all veterans receive the health care they deserve. As far as Dr. Chandler, she says she is taking legal action against the Albuquerque VA. Coming up at 10, family members of an Albuquerque native tell their story of frustration with the VA. They say Kevin Hartbarger repeatedly went to the VA for help hours before his death. Nancy will have that report. New details now in a crash.